Hey, welcome back to our channel. This is Jared at Three Seas Recreation, and I got Braxton behind the camera. Today, we just got our first load of Seaforce 500 ETVs. These are the new 2023 models. Outside, we have the blue one, and on inside the building here, we have an orange one that's fully accessorized and a black one. So at the end of the video, if you stick around, I can show you guys what some accessories look like. What's cool with this new body style is there are accessories available. If you had a Gen 1 Seaforce 500, there weren't front or rear bumpers, um, rack extenders, or any of the stuff we'll show you inside. So stick around, we'll show you some accessories. We want to do a quick walk around video on why the CF Moto sells so well. You get so many features stock. You're not paying extras, there's no up charges. Power steering and winch are included. I did a really quick uh, Google search this morning. I went to KM, Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki's website this morning. And I just pulled some prices. So just for you guys at home that are wondering, like, are they really less money? Yes, they are. So if we were to go look at like a Sportsman 450, and if you want the power steering model in the Polaris, they are $82.99 for a Polaris Sportsman 450 with power steering, and that does not include a winch. So keep that in mind. If you add a winch, you're probably like $8,700 for a Polaris 450. If you go look at the k &AM Outlander, a 450 DPS, which is their version of the power steering, is $76.99. And again, there's no, there's no winch with that. And most of these manufacturers, their winches are gonna be like a $500 upgrade, plus they're gonna charge you to install that. So $76.99 for the K&M DPS. The Honda Foreman with power steering is $88.49. Again, no winch. So almost $9,000 for a new Honda without a winch. And if you look at the Yamaha Kodiak, so the 450 EPS from Yamaha is $79.99. Again, no winch, so 500 bucks there. So CF Moto, this machine right here retails for $61.99. We are $1,500 less than the closest competitor. And again, they don't have the winch. So you're at like a $2,000 difference right off the bat, which is a really cool thing. Last I know on the other brands is I think they are all like a six month warranty, or at least I know Polaris is. Right here, CF Moto is a one year warranty. So just comparing prices, you can go to their websites. It's really cool. Right off the bat, we're saving you a ton of money. And then now we'll show you the features on why you would buy the CF Moto, not just because of price. The Seaforce 500 has always been a fuel injected model and that did not change for this year. It's a Bosch fuel injected machine. So if you come in, Braxton, we'll show everybody the controls on the handlebars. It's a really nice layout. We have the throttle on this side. So the harder you squeeze that, the faster we're gonna go. This is our four x four switch. So right now we have two wheel drive, four wheel. This is an open front diff. So only one wheel is really gonna grab. And then if you go to the last mode, this is our diff lock mode. So all four tires will spin all the time if you're in this last mode. It's a really nice feature. Not something that I would trail ride in. That's just to get you out of a mud hole because it does get harder to steer with all four tires trying to pull you forward. So we'll just go back to two-wheel drive. And on this side of the handlebars, we have the in and out for the winch. Sorry, we got a loud truck going by. It's nice, it's in and out right here. It's up on the handlebar, easy to get to. We have the light switch. We have high beam, low beam, off and running lights. And then we have the kill switch. So this is off, and then to start the vehicle when the key is on, we would push down here. And then they did move the brake on the CF Motos to the left-hand side. So this is an all four brake. If you squeeze this, all four tires are gonna grab. And let's show the display while we're right here. So we have the key on the right fender. We just turn it on, and I don't know with the shadow outside or the sun. So we'll just talk through it. So we have our, our gas gauge on this side. All the machines that we sell go with a full tank of gas. Shows the battery volts there, RPMs, what gear we're in. Right now we're in park. Here's our um, four wheel drive button. So you can see we're in two wheel. If I flick it, there's four wheel. If I go one more time, there's four wheel diff lock. It puts that little X in the middle there. And then on the left hand side of the display there, we have the temp gauge. So really informative and you can flip through this um, display LED so you can change the brightness. We got the miles, trip meter, hours, volts. So most folks, I believe, would just leave it on the miles. Then we can adjust the brightness of the display. So really easy layout. Whenever you're sitting on the ETV, it's really easy to see the new display. 
If you're looking at like a 2021 and older, the display is much different, a lot smaller, not as informative. And then we can talk about the gear selector. So on this side is how we choose our gear. So we have park, reverse, neutral, high, and low. Park, reverse, and neutral are very self-explanatory, but where customers might get confused is high range and low range. So if you're a trail riding at a faster speed, high range is totally fine to use. If you're in a field or jumping out on the side of the road, that's where high range is used. If you guys are just putting through the woods at under 15 miles an hour, or if you're pulling a trailer, or if you're plowing, or if you're loading the ATV, you need to use low range. It's so important to save the belt life. If you're in high range and you're working the machine, you're just gonna burn the belt and it's not good for it. So that's my, my pitch on the belts. I try to make sure every machine that leaves here, I explain what gear to use all the time. And then also on the left-hand fender, CF Moto again comes with a lot of features. This is our USB ports. It comes with two of them. And then inside of here is our 12 volt. So 12 volts always been standard, but CF Moto has been knocking it out of the park with their USB ports as well. CF Moto has stepped up their headlight game with a new body style. You're going to get LED headlights. So if we turn the lights, there's low beam and there's high beam. Really bright at night, a good wide field of view. And then here's our winch. And again, that's included with the CF Moto where other brands we have to add that. It's a 2,500 pound winch. It's all tucked up nice. So if you guys are going through some brush, there's nothing here that's going to catch anything. A ton of ground clearance. You can see they come with the arched front A-arms. Most of the times you gotta buy like a high lifter kit to add that to your ATV, so it's nice that it comes with the CF Moto. It is a dual A-arm front suspension and that just gives you a way safer ride. So the dual A-arm, as your suspension goes through the stroke, that outside wheel is gonna stay straight up and down. So if you're cornering hard, your front wheel is not cambering. It's a little more technical stuff there, but it's way safer whenever you are cornering hard. If we walk to the back of the vehicle, we can show you it does have independent rear suspension and again not all the brands are doing that i think most of them are catching up but some of the honda models are still like a straight axle in the rear and what we really like about the independent is how much ground clearance we have here uh, in the brochure it tells us the exact numbers but ton of ground clearance with the cf motos it does come with a two inch hitch receiver which is very nice because again the players comes with like a one and an eighth receiver so you're running to Napa to buy a, a different hitch just to use your vehicle. We have the rear storage bin here. We can open this up real quick. So it's not huge, but they do give you as much as possible. It goes quite a ways underneath the seat. Easy to get to. Probably doesn't show it on the camera because it's too dark. And then I will run the rear taillights real quick for you guys. So really cool how it goes across here. We'll go here so you can see. The light's going all the way across the back. It's a cool look to it. Let me grab the brake here. Lights up the brakes. And then the really nice feature with the CF Motos is you're gonna see reverse lights. So if I hit this, nobody else is really doing reverse lights either. So at night, that makes a huge difference. If you guys are backing up in the woods or up to a trailer, it gets so dark in the winter. It's nice to have the reverse lights. Let's give you guys a preview underneath the seat. This shows some of the maintenance stuff. So if we pull up on the seat, it's just got a tab on the back and we pull it up and out. It's got two tabs in the front. Very easy to get to the battery on the CF Moto machines and they give you a 30 amp battery. So if you look down inside here, this is the bigger battery that they give you. It's nice, easy if you wanna maintain it, put a trickle charger on it. If you're not using it a lot in the winter, easy to do. And also CF Moto gives you very easy access to the air filter. Some of the older models had some wires that were running over. So if you did unclip this, it was hard to get inside of it. The new design, there's nothing on top of it, way easy to get to. Really appreciate that from CF Moto because as you guys do use the machines, maintenance is a big thing and those are two key components of the maintenance. Oil changes are very easy on this model. On your left wheel well by where your boot is, you have an access panel. So if we pull this off, we can have access. This is where our oil filter is. It's three eight millimeter bolts, easy to pull the cover off. The filter's right behind it. And down below is our dipstick, and this is also where we fill it. So as if I unscrew that, the dipstick gives you a reading on how much oil is inside of the vehicle. Then underneath the middle is where our drain plug is. So oil changes are very easy on the CF Moto 500s. We can go ahead and start the vehicle for you guys. It's really cold out this morning, but with fuel injection, just hit the button, fires right up. We put regular ED7 octane right in the gas tank here. 
the power steering is one finger and obviously as you're as you're running it and moving it it's easy to do we can do like a turning radius for you guys too we can hop on it real quick and we'll just do a really quick we'll see how tight we can turn this new model uh, we'll just spin it right here we're gonna do it in two-wheel drive too just so you guys know in the video Really tight radius. It's not a loud machine. Uh, the takeoff is very smooth as well. It's not jerky. That's high range. So that's how smooth we can take off and high. I'll back up a little bit. I should also note how nice the shifter works on this model. It's very simple. Some of the older models, you really had to rock the machine more to get it to go into gear. Uh, this is low range, and we'll go forward here. So it's a, it's a little grabbier, a little jumpier, but that's okay because it's it's anticipating there being a load behind us, more more work being uh, applied. The brakes were good, they're a disc brake. As all of the machine breaks in, I always tell customers after like 100 miles or so, the suspension's going to break in, the brakes will start to work better, the machine will shift better. So this was just a really quick walk around of the new C-Force 500. Let's go inside and we'll show you guys the other colors. So inside we have the jet black and the mango orange. <laughs> I like the new color. The one outside was a sky blue, by the way. I didn't give you the actual color name. So this 500, we added the front bumper accessory, the rear bumper accessory, the rear rack extender, and the windshield. This windshield is nice and tall. It gives you a ton of coverage. They did a great job with that. And the front bumper really covers all the way around the outside of that LED headlight. It doesn't add any extra width, which I'm a huge fan of. I don't like it when things stick out past the fenders because then we're, we're losing our ability to ride in the woods. Come on to the back bracks. Let's show the rear bumper as well. The rack extenders are nice. They actually stick out past the rack. So it's not taking up any of the rack space. They stick out. And then here's that rear bumper. Again, it covers everything. And then it gives us our, still our access to our rear storage bin. And then we can show a few of the um, storage bins on the other 500 here. So these are the new front and rear storage bins for the C-Force models. And if we, let's see, we just open it here. And on this side, this one's the front open. So to open it, you just pick up on it here. Quite a bit of room on the inside. People have been asking for these bins. So we're pretty excited to be able to offer them. They do come off really easy. CF Moto is, is known. Um, not sure if I, what term I should use because Players has the lock and ride coined. But on the sides here, all we have are just these quarter turn clips that we've been using for a couple years now. Oh, CF Moto Connect is the technical name for these. So easy to use. You just undo four of these. You pull the bin right off. And then this is the back bin. Oh, and this bin right here is actually going to show it a little bit better, right? So here's those connects. We just take four of these off and the accessory is off. So if you don't want this on there for the day, you can take it off easily. We can open it up to show you guys the inside. So this one doesn't have the spring that keeps it open. You kind of have to open it and hold it yourself. But this is a really deep bin. There's a lot of room inside of here. I would probably think we could fit a helmet inside of it. Let me grab one real quick to see. Um, here's like a, this is a kid's helmet, so it's kind of small, but let's see how this fits inside there. I don't want to grab those ones because those are winter helmets, but so yeah, there's plenty of room even for an adult helmet to fit in there. So if you get to where you're going for the day and you don't want your helmet on because you're just hanging out, you can take your helmet off, put it inside of there, ton of room inside these bins. So these are just a few of the accessories that you can now get with the 500 chassis that we didn't have before. So. Like everything else at CF Moto, as you look through the showroom, everything is accessorized. We can build stuff up. We've got some C4 600 Tourings. We got some Z Force models with some BF Goodrich tires on them, and we got a 1000 in the back there. So, if you guys are looking for CF Moto product, I am Jared from Three Cs, and uh, as always, I got Braxton behind the camera. I appreciate you guys watching. If you found the video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It helps us grow and make more videos. Enjoy the ride.